What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. We have quite a few installs we're gonna we're gonna be putting on the Mark V DTI so far. Starting on the first one, I'm gonna show you guys what we have so far. So guys, look, we have the full brake kit right here. We have the brake. We have the pads, rotors, sensors, and everything. So just make sure you guys sit tight and get ready for some good content. We're gonna be dropping bangers. So first off, let's get the serpentine belt installed right now. Let's rock and roll. Let's go. We have a new one right here, and it's real straightforward. You guys probably not gonna have a bunch of stuff sitting in the corner like I do, so it'll probably be easier for you guys to do the serpentine belt real quick. So first step is this part of tension the back right here. Um, you could put something to hold. So it's a 16 millimeter wrench. Um, back down to this area. You just want to pry it, pry it towards you, pull it back towards you. Then you just want to get a tensioner or something to hold it inside it. Well, this is not long enough, but you want to get something to hold the tensioner. So when you put the belt back on, it's super easy to get back on. Cause you see how the tension to re retract all the way back but i'm probably not going to do it that way i have done this enough time but if you look at the serpentine belt guys oh my god serpentine belt is freaking destroyed look at it this is absolutely nasty guys so you guys seen me taking off the, the the old belt that was on the car of course the belt was so um worn out that i couldn't even put it back on the car um, after getting the new belt on, I came to my um, understanding that Napa sold me the wrong belt. So I called Advanced Auto and they have one over there. I'm going to run and pick it up. Look, these brakes are completely shot that's on the car right now. I had these for so long since I first bought the car and I never really changed them. So now is the right time to change them. So we're gonna go ahead and lube up the brake line right now, try to get any corrosions that's sitting there to slowly break apart itself. So we're gonna use PB Blaster on that right here just to get some stuff really loose right now. We're gonna go ahead and spray the, the brake line. That's right here, probably try to get it to free up some a little bit. Do the same to the other side. First step, get the caliper off. So we're gonna take the complete cal caliper off um, from the bracket side because we don't need the brake pads. Um, and we don't need the brake lines anymore. So we're just gonna disconnect it from the caliper bracket portion, get it off from there, and then we're gonna go from the line and take it from there. So let's go. See like the, the bolt is a 21, if I remember correctly, for the caliper bracket. Alright, so I couldn't find my step up. I couldn't find the step up the freaking it's a half inch to a 3 8 adapter so I could use the um so I can use my my snap-on ratchet. I couldn't find it, so this is gonna do it by hand for now. So by hand waste of time for me, so So this is the brake line right here guys. The brake line is right here. To get it loose, it's probably um to get it loose is probably a 10 mil or 11. I'm gonna go grab one right now and get a pan so when you crack the brake line free, you catch the fluid that's the excess fluid that's gonna drain on the floor. So I got the right size guys, so the size is actually a 11. Size is 11, so just grab an 11, put it over the the brake line and just see mine came out really loose. I don't know if yours is corroded or not, but new 
Yo, what's up? It's okay if everything drains out. And we're gonna bleed it after, so it's literally okay. It's not a big deal. Okay. So with that clip holding the, the brake line in, what you guys want to do is just get a, a flathead screwdriver and you just want to go in between the clip and you just want to pry it up. Prior to the video, I sprayed it with um, WD-40 and PB Blaster so it would come off really easy. So like I said, just get the screwdriver like I'm doing in the video and just pop it up and the, the, the clip will literally jump right out the groove that's, that is being held in. Um, the clip is like really flexible, so be careful, guys. And you want to just a little clip here, basically frying up. It's just a little piece careful. of clip, and you just keep it so when you're ready to put it. With frogs, cold night, and the winter hot cold. Sorry that I fall away sometimes. Sorry that I fall away sometimes. Yeah, yeah. The end, got to end it all on the weekend. Sorry that I feel that way sometimes Sorry that I feel that way sometimes Oh, oh, yeah You don't really wanna know Alright, so back to um installing the big brake kit, guys Um, So I got the brake line Got it from Amazon Stop Tech I'll put the part number down below if you guys need it So let's continue with the good stuff Kinda wanna just orientate it to the right way, twist it so fits up in this the right position. There you go. And then you want to orientate it back in this little slot right here. And then you just want to get it screwed down a little bit. Put your pin back in to hold it. There you go. Just pop it in place just like I did. So you guys, you can go ahead and start tightening it back down too. I feel like it's that feel like it's pretty in there to be honest. I don't feel like that's going anywhere. It's gonna go right here. And you're gonna, you're gonna clip it back into place with the clip that they sent you guys. So, so just clip it back into 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 place. It's really really tight. But I'm right here, guys. I'm gonna just try to move my hand so you can see this little clip right here. That clip is I'm that's what I'm trying to get back in. So just give it a nice little top, and you'll be able to get it back in. Real straightforward. Let's see. Matter of fact, we could probably put a lug nut to hold the rotor on. To be honest, I'm gonna put a few lug nuts on to hold the rotor. Okay, that should be good. Another one in here. Matter of fact. Just to hold it so it don't move when we trying to get the caliper on and stuff. So. so we ran into a slight issue, guys. So why would not open the powder coated plastic wrap that when the with, that the calipers were in, opened it and going to install the caliper. There's only one bleeder screw on it, so that's not good at all. So what I'm gonna do right now is probably just install the caliper and see if I could order like a, a little bleeder screw or something to put on. Um, when I'm bleeding it. So not a big deal, we're still gonna continue. So we got one in so far, guys. Um, probably gonna move the camera back up soon. See if I could get you guys to see a little bit better. Okay, so if you guys look on this side, if you guys look on this side, one side is already in at the moment. So I just gotta get the washer and the nut all on the back side.
All right, so I got one side on so far, guys. So now I'm gonna do the bottom side, but I'm gonna show you guys first. So what you guys basically basically want to do, if you look down here, you're gonna see the nut, and on that side, you're gonna see the the other piece of washer with the. I'm not sure that looked like uh, probably like an Allen screw. So that's how you gotta orientate it. So that piece is on, washer is on. Then you get the other washer on, and then you sneak the nut on right now. So this is how I'm gonna do it. Put my fingers in between it like this. Just kind of hold it and just sneak it up in there and get it on. There you go, just like that. So like, one side is already on. I'm gonna go ahead while I'm at it, just snug, up, snug these up at the same time on the neat. Just so we don't forget about them. So we got the right size guys. Um for the caliper bolts that's right on the side right here. They are a right there. They are a 12 millimeter. So go ahead and stick it back on in there. So um, we had a little technical difficulties with the little centering, little bleeder valves for the top. I couldn't find one of mine. So we it was able to find a universal one and we swapped it out. So next step is to get the brake pad installed. I already took the, the bolts to, um, I took the bolts to 80 Newton meters. Um, so we should be good on this side. We just gotta, so if you guys look, everything on this side is currently installed already. So the only thing left to do is to snug this down, which I'm about to do right now, actually. This is the bolt right here that I need to snug up right now. Make sure it's absolutely tight. That should be good. That should be good enough. Now we can go ahead and get this portion in. Just be real careful when you pop this loose, guys. Um, just get it in there. You don't want no brake fluid running on your caliper. Be real careful. First, snug all the way so it don't leak. Once you get it snug, you should be good. So I feel like that's tight enough, so that should be good. Big mess. Just give it a nice wipe. Your skin, cause honestly, the tall fire breath. This is so real. Just you and me, let's escape, girl, tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. These calipers, I literally picked them up from the junkyard. 80 bucks a piece, paid to get them powder coated. Ordered a conversion bolt from JHM. There was literally 70 bucks a piece. Rotors I got from eBay. Um, the brake line I got from Amazon, they're stop tech. Um, yeah, but that's about it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the, the content. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm gonna keep bringing bangers so don't forget to put on no notification um and i'll see you guys peace